Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aquarius March 14, 2023. The moon spends the day in your sign, bringing your emotions to life. You're also pouring more time or energy into helping others and making things run smoothly in your personal life. With Mercury and Uranus in harmony in your relationship sectors, a mutual understanding can emerge, or stimulating conversations can be notable. You might also come up with an exciting new plan or idea. Minds are opening to new possibilities today, helping you solve problems. A development with a special person in your life can prompt a detour or a change but can also be most welcome. More festive energy is calling your name today. As mental Mercury flips his fins in your solar house of true love, he will blow bubbles toward electric Uranus, now spinning in your solar house of relationships and partnerships. This would be an excellent time to chat with your one and only about making long-term plans, especially around travel. Not only would you both learn so much from the experience, but you'd form lifelong memories that become jewels within your heart. Book the travel or plan it today. You're guaranteed to have a great time. There might be an unexpected opportunity that is worth committing to. Typically, you do not like unforeseeable changes or adjustments. But you may make an exception when Mercury in Pisces sextals Uranus in Taurus. There is an opportunity to switch up aspects of your current professional commitments and partnerships to feel more fulfilled. You may feel inspired to pursue a creative opportunity that allows you to flex your skills and talents. Overall, expect to have a conversation or think about what you can do to be happier to come up during this transit. In the lead up to the moon's return to your income sector tomorrow, on the income side of the financial fence there is a call to start paying attention while also keeping an open mind. With the moon not only returning for its only visit while Venus, the planet of money is in your work sector but for its last visit before Mars leaves your financial sector, this is set to energize both sides of the financial fence. Knowing when to stop and when to go forward can be a real source of anxiety. Picture the little billy goat on the mountain, unsure of his next step. Others may say that you make a big deal out of nothing, but inside you feel anxious. Ignore them. But don't ignore your anxiety. Create a habit of doing things that release tension and calm your anxiety. Schedule the time to pamper yourself in some way and keep it, it is a preventative measure, not a cure for symptoms. Your reputation for ambition precedes you in most cases. And often, you're the one and only responsible for the successes that you generate. However, this day, and this essence will encourage you to combine your talents and skills with a group. Even if you prefer to do things solo the majority of the time, working as a part of a team might be a refreshing change for you. Give the opportunities that come your way a chance. It is just as the moon, making its monthly visit to Scorpio clashes with Uranus in your relationship sector, something that it does every four weeks since his return in 2019, that he is joined by the asteroid Juno. This is something that once a month will see the moon flush out any balance issues between your personal and relationship needs, something that has been important for both. However, this will give Juno, the queen of commitment and especially commitment to your relationship something to focus on from the start as she returns to your relationship sector ahead of Venus, the planet of love's return next week. Just five days before Venus is due to make an early return to your relationship sector, the asteroid Juno, the queen of commitment and especially commitment to your relationships returns for her first visit in four years. This is no random event, nor is Venus returned two months earlier than last year, with both returning to begin the lead up to Jupiter's return in May and the major relationship growth this will bring. Our eyes in the sky. As you navigate through the challenges and difficulties in your life, it's important to remember that these struggles are a natural part of your growth and development. By staying present and aware of your inner energy, you can learn valuable lessons, especially when it comes to your psychological well-being. Your childhood experiences have left deep imprints on your psyche, and now is the time for these imprints to be purged and cleansed away. This process of healing can be truly transformative, 
but it requires you to let go of rigid ideas about how your life should be structured and to accept your current circumstances with open-mindedness and grace. As you continue on your journey, remember that the growth and healing that you're experiencing are all part of a larger process. Embrace the challenges that come your way, and stay open to the lessons that they can teach you. By doing so, you'll emerge from these struggles stronger, wiser, and more resilient than ever before. As the morning dawns, Vesta and Chiron converge in fiery Aries, triggering intense feelings of shame and inadequacy. Despite our best efforts and wholehearted dedication, we can't shake off the sense that we are not measuring up. It's as though our energy and hard work are being swallowed by a black hole, and we may even find ourselves engaging in self-destructive behavior. It's important to understand that Chiron transits are deeply rooted in our psyche and can have a profound impact on our emotional well-being. We may feel as though we are being judged or looked down upon by others, but in reality, this is often far from the truth. In fact, those around us may hold us in high regard and deeply respect us, while we are busy berating ourselves for falling short of our own impossibly high standards. It's crucial to step back and view ourselves through a lens of objectivity, free from self-judgment and criticism. Why are we so self-critical? What is driving these feelings of inadequacy and shame? By examining ourselves with compassion and curiosity, we can begin to identify the root causes of our negative self-talk and work towards healing and self-acceptance. Remember, you are not alone in your struggles, and seeking support from trusted loved ones or a mental health professional can provide valuable insights and tools for overcoming these challenges. Embrace this moment as an opportunity for growth and transformation, and have faith in your ability to rise above your struggles with grace and resilience. As the sun rises, Vesta and Jupiter converge in Aries, driving us to overcompensate for our perceived shortcomings. These powerful Vesta aspects come on the heels of yesterday's Jupiter-Chiron conjunction, which may have left us feeling emotionally raw and in need of self-compassion. Despite this need for self-care, we may find ourselves frantically throwing everything we have at the wall to see what sticks. In these moments, it can be helpful to embrace our connection to something larger than ourselves, whether that be a spiritual practice or a commitment to making a positive impact on others. Consider incorporating a spiritual or philosophical idea into your personal mission statement, reminding yourself of the power you hold to effect change in the world around you. The universe is calling upon us to shift our focus away from our own perceived limitations and towards the ways in which we can contribute to the greater good. Remember that you are not alone in your struggles, and that self-compassion and kindness towards yourself are essential for your own healing process. Take time to reflect on your values and priorities, and allow yourself to be guided by the light of your own inner wisdom. With patience and persistence, you can overcome these challenges and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before.